Welcome back everyone, this is episode 7. So we need to go ahead and get the peg some water. And first, actually, let's go ahead and start our worker back up over here on the barley. Go ahead and get him, actually we gotta lower this down first for him and start it. Back up a little bit just so he doesn't miss anything. Now we can let the worker work on that. Let's go ahead and fill the water up a bit. Oh, I hate the braking on this tractor. Wow, they took a lot more water than I was expecting. But anyway, our money, as you can see, it went down a ton. So, I'll tell you why I bought a trailer full of seed, a trailer full of lime, well, two trailers full of lime, actually, a trailer full of fertilizer, and 8,000 liters of liquid herbicide. So, that's where most of our money went to. Well, that's where all the money that's gone went to. And I took down the trees around the fields. A couple of the trees I couldn't get down. They wouldn't cut for some reason. So they're just going to have to stay there I guess for now. And I swapped out our barrels. The two barrels. Wow so we can't hook up to that now. Right. So I swapped out our other trailer. That we had on the silver axle with like the two barrels. Swapped that out for this one and it works. So that's good to go now. But. Oh yeah, also, for eggs, I added in this guy right here. I've never used it before, so I don't know how it works. But I think we'll go ahead and buy one of them, actually. See, I want a nice color here. Nope, we want it for eggs. Let's change the room color. We'll make it black. We'll go ahead and buy that. Hopefully, I know how to work it. And I also, if we take a look under manure spreaders I added in a couple different mods here so I don't know which one we're gonna go with but at some point we're gonna have to spread some manure so I added in a couple different mods here and also slurry tanks I've added in a couple slurry tanks as well where are the smaller ones at I thought I had oh that's the only one I got oh, I thought I added in a couple of them but we already own one of them, so which one do we own? I think we own that. I wonder how much slurry the pigs even have so far. Alright, well they're not getting it too quickly, so that's not a problem. But I do want to try out this end of the egg trailer. So let's um swing up to the shop and grab that. We finished planting the corn over here. And our seed tender still over here. I gotta get that and put that away. I forgot. But as you can see, I knocked down a bunch of the trees so workers don't get stuck as much. So let's go ahead and swing over here to the shop and pick up our new trailer for eggs. I wanna see how this thing works. I also forgot to put away this tractor as well. Hey, I'm really slacking. But it'll be okay. So we'll go ahead and swing into the shop this way. Taking out signs and everything. Oh my. I'm not quite sure how this thing works though, so... We'll have to kind of see how it goes. Let's go ahead and run back over here to the farm real quick. I would like to own this field. What field is that? Field 8? Is that like the biggest field? No, field 10 is definitely the biggest field. Field 7 is a nice field too. I just don't like that little 
L shape it has to it. I think we might. Uh, field 10 is kind of far away though. We may buy field 10 at some point. Our next field will probably be this field right here, field 8. It's a nice long field. Uh, we'll probably end up fast forward a little bit of time so we have something to do. We'll probably have to weed this episode. But I just want to try this out and see how this works. We do have some egg boxes over here, but I'm not sure. I watched Farm Sim Snowy use it, and he had some type of loading pallet underneath of it. So I don't know if you have to use that or if you can just back up to it. And it'll automatically load it up, I'm not sure. So I may have to go rewatch the video of him. Yeah, apparently... I think we're gonna have to have the unload thing or the automatic load thing. Let's swing push in. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to watch the video of him doing it and figure out how to do it. I wonder if there's anything in this store under miscellaneous for auto load. Anything in here now? Hmm. There's nothing in here and it says it's auto little trailer, right? Alright, well I'll have to take a look at his video. I'll finish up with the pl planting over there, seeding, I mean. And then we will probably fast forward and do a little bit of... A little bit of um weeding so i'll see you guys soon all right i had a good talk with farm sim snowy and i found this so we're gonna go ahead and buy one of these and switch it to eggs and we should be able to just pick these up and throw them in there see if that'll work yeah so we'll just get these thrown in here and then run up oh okay well that's weird and then we'll run up to the shop and grab that auto load pallet thing and see if that'll work so they should be in here right yep we got one in there all right, well, I'm going to run up to the store real quick and grab the auto load pallet, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, well, I had to carry this thing the whole way down here because it wouldn't go on the bed of the truck. It just fell right through the truck, so that's kind of weird. But if you don't already, make sure you go and subscribe to Farm Sim Snowy. He has a real good Farm Sim channel on YouTube, so make sure you check him out. Me and him became pretty good friends. So we'll go ahead and sit this down here, and from what I understand, it should pop up with pallets like that are on the back here, kind of like the wool comes in, and it should just load up automatically once we back up to it. We'll see how that works, but for now, let's go ahead and find somewhere to park this trailer at. I'm not sure where we're going to put it. I'm not too sure. So, I don't really have any room around here. We, we need more storage. There's not enough room in here. Maybe we can squeeze it in there, but I think we'll just keep it along here for now. I don't really have enough money to put in a shed. It would be nice to get the um, slurry spreader over there in a shed. Let's take a look here. Let's see if we can find another shed to put up. Like one of these. 
that we don't even have enough money. Well, maybe at some point we'll get one of these sheds and see about putting it up over here maybe somewhere. Maybe like, maybe we'll put it along here or even like back over here maybe. Kind of where the old one was. We could possibly squeeze these closer together. Cause that's a lot of wasted space in between them and then put a shed up but for now it's just gonna have to sit there because we don't have enough money to do all that so let's go ahead and bring this guy back out here I think we're gonna park this tractor in here Let's, um, we gotta go grab our seed tender up here at the shop, because I try to drive this up here to, but let's just pick up some seed while we're here. Try to bring it up here to get that pallet, but it wouldn't work, so it is what it is. Let's see, let's go ahead and just buy one of these. And we'll buy one of these. Because we already have a ton of seed and fertilizer in the silo. But we'll just fill this up just a little bit more. Oh no, I don't want both of them to be fertilizer. That's the only thing I don't like about this. Oh crap. There we go. If there's only a little bit of seed or fertilizer, it'll just cancel it out and fill it up with whatever. So it's kind of frustrating whenever that does that. You're like what is it doing? I'm so confused as to what this thing is doing. Go ahead and get this fertilizer in here and then we'll worry about the seed. Maybe next time I'll just buy one pallet of seed and then do one thing of fertilizer just to make it more simpler. How is our worker doing? He finished up. Alright, we got to get that put away. We got to get the corn planter put away as well. We'll probably bump the time up a little bit. Go ahead and do that. Let's bump the time up to. We'll go 15. Perfect. Can we close this? Alright. Just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to cut right across here. It's not our field, not our corn. Hopefully, the neighbors won't mind. Get this put back in here. Gotta try to save as much room as possible. And we'll bring this back over here for now. So let's hop in, where is it at, here's one tractor, we'll go get this put away and then we'll grab our other tractor over there and get that put away, 
And then after we get this all put away, we'll probably skip ahead a little bit and hopefully we'll have some weeding to do or fertilizing, one of the two. Or maybe even both. So that would give us something to do. Let's go ahead and get this put back. For now, I guess we'll park this because I don't think we'll need this tractor for a while. We don't need our Fiat for a while, so we can kind of park it in a little bit. But we got to get our other fence back there in the corner out for fertilizing, so we got to make sure we can get that out of there. So let's head over here and hop in this guy. I wonder how much field aid is. We might be able to take out a little bit of a loan and buy it. So we have a harvest to do. We do need some corn. wonder how much it is. Hundred and yeah, we're not taking out that much of a loan. Hundred and twenty-two thousand. Too much for us to take out right now. Let's go ahead and get this put back in the shed here. Let's put back in and we can shut the door. And this tractor, I don't know, can we squeeze this can we squeeze this in here and still be able to get the other fin out? I think we probably can, honestly. This is a quite big shed, if I'm being honest. Should be able to fit that out. Anyway, let's get these shut up. We won't need that for a while. And we shouldn't need this for a while either. So, now that we got all that put away, we can go ahead and skip a little bit forward. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, well, I just got done eating lunch. And it looks like some weeds popped up. So, let's go ahead and hop in our fent back here. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hook this guy up. Oh, I forgot. That's in the it's in the front there. So we gotta swing this around and hook up to this guy. And then we'll have to hook up to our front tank. We might just sell that other weeder because we probably won't ever use it. And then that'll free up a little bit of space. But let's just go ahead and come out here and get spraying underway. And then we'll have to come back over it all and fertilize. Let me get not over the whole way. I'd rather overlap it than miss some. Does it even have weeds? It doesn't even look like there's any weeds. But it says it's covered in weeds, so there has to be weeds. It doesn't look like it though. Maybe. Oh yeah, I see them. See them kind of dead, it looks like. So let's go ahead and get this field sprayed up.
don't know how we would use the slurry though because that's gonna the whales will destroy the crop maybe we'll have to spray slurry and then plant but I don't know if that'll give it a hundred percent not sure how that'll work sure we'll figure something out though I wish it changed the ground color so I knew what I sprayed and what I didn't spray. Guess we'll just have to live with it and hope we get it all. Oh, he clipped us. don't like this field why is it out farther up here than back here I ought to come into the landscaping mode and touch that up a little bit I like my fields to be nice and straight maybe we'll do that after we harvest I don't want to waste any crop Alright, so now I gotta kinda guess how far this thing can spray. So we don't. I don't wanna overlap and waste herbicide, but I don't wanna miss any either. Let's pull up the map here and kinda see where we're at. Also, I missed some right here. Let's see if that did it. Had to have gotten it perfect, and we're not missing any here. Looks good. Stick right here with this row. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's hard whenever you can't really see the weeds. Last time we did this, it was a bit easier because we could actually see the weeds that we were killing. I think I may let a worker worker work on it just since they would be able to see it better. I kind of don't know if I'm getting it or if I'm missing it. I mean, I'm doing pretty good though. I'll just stick with him and make sure he's doing a good job. See over here, did say this field even has any weeds? Yeah, 100% there. I can actually see the weeds coming up in this field though, so I think it would be easier to do this field. So I may bring you guys back in once it's time to do some of this field. So I'll see you guys then. All right, well, I think we'll do part of this field. I already did all the headlands for this, so we'll do maybe half of it or the whole field, depending on how long it takes, and then we'll come back and do some fertilizing, and then we'll call it an episode, I believe. Yeah, we're almost at that time, so that's what we'll probably do. I don't see anything else being ready to work or anything any more work for us popping up so 
We'll go ahead and knock this field out, or at least half of it. Excuse me, I keep having to burp. But I don't want to bore you guys if this isn't what you want to see, so I don't want to do too much of this on camera. I don't know why the screen keeps changing colors like that. It goes light to dark. It's kind of bugging my eyes. It's a bit weird. Alright, well, I'll stop moving so it doesn't keep doing that. See, now it's bright again. Super weird. Right, well, let's swing around here and make another pass. Should have enough herbicide. There is 8,000 liters in the silo if we need more. Hopefully, we won't need any more. This is actually the first time I've ever played with weeds on. I normally hate doing weeds, but I figured since we're on such a small map, we would need more stuff to do, so we might as well turn it on. And it's given us work to do, so I'm glad I did. Let's see if I can't knock this all out in one pass here. Good thing about these fields are this sprayer works perfectly. We end up with a perfect last pass on each row, or each field, I mean. Each field seems like it's fit perfectly for this size width of a sprayer. It's pretty neat how that works. If this screen doesn't stop changing from light to dark, my eyes are going to be messed up. But anyways, I'm going to head over here and hit up 1 and 2 with herbicide, and then I'll bring you guys back in once it's time to do some fertilizing and then we'll call it an episode so I'll see you guys shortly well I got every little bit here that I missed up on field 5 and we got 5 we got 9 liters left so let's head over here and try out our new silo for, hey look it's working perfect our egg um, crates are working over there so we want to get it some out so if you come up here we should be able to Oh no, it's not going to fill up how I thought it was. Actually, do I have to open it? Hey, it's not going to work. Shoot. If I come to the back here. Darn it. Well, we'll have to figure out some other way to store herbicide I guess maybe if we put it in a trailer then we can refill it from the trailer possibly so I'm gonna just keep this sitting out over here for right now and I'll refill that up a little bit later but we gotta go over here and get to fertilizing so if we take a look here though you can see the pallets are working so shout out to Farm Sim Snowy that should work perfectly fine now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll get out of your way. So yeah, now we don't have to worry about single egg boxes. And we can just take a bulk load at a time. So it'll be much easier for us. So let's head over here and... We'll probably do field 1 and 2 over here. And then we'll wrap up the episode. And I'll do the rest off camera. We can go ahead and refill this. Perfect. I think Farm Sim Snowy, he was using a fertilizer spreader and it was like 
45 meters that hooked up to the back of a tractor. I think it would be kind of cool to use that. But I feel like that might be overkill for this because these fields aren't really that big. But I would like to try it out and I feel like this would be the perfect smaller series to try it out on. Even though it's not really small. I don't know. We'll see if I can even find it. But we'll go ahead and finish off this field with fertilizer and call it an episode. I just want to make sure I don't miss any on the edges. So hopefully we'll be able to maximize our pig food with all of this being with this being wheat and our other food barley. And we have plenty of potatoes and um, sugar beets. And then we'll probably just do two fields of corn possibly. Next time, I don't know. We gotta try to keep up with the corn and it sucks that we have to do a plowing stage every time. But maybe we'll just have one field dedicated to corn. I think we'll probably dedicate this field to corn, maybe. We'll kind of see how it goes. And we have to cultivate anyway, so we could just plow it. It's not a big deal. Maybe that's what we'll do. I would like to get a bigger planter, though, and a bigger cedar at some point. Hopefully these pigs start reproducing. How fast are they reproducing? Every two hours? That's not too bad. We're already up to 65. That's pretty darn good. And chickens. How many chickens? We can only have 100 chickens? No, we need to get another chicken pen. This rate, chickens aren't going to be making us hardly anything. I feel like I probably missed a little bit on the edge there. Nope, I got it all. Looky there. And I don't know if I mentioned this this episode or not, but I have a Discord, Instagram, and a Facebook page all dedicated to CNS Farms. I post the upload schedule on there and some behind the scene content so if you want to check that out to know whenever a video is going to be posted make sure you go down in the description and click on one of the links I have the schedule on the discord for up until FS22 and then I post every Sunday or Monday on Instagram and then Facebook I kind of don't use Facebook that often but if you want to private message me or anything, have a one-on-one -on -one chat, you could do that on uh, Facebook. So that's kind of why I have that. But mainly I use Instagram or Discord. I'm still trying to learn Discord though, so it's a kind of a struggle. But I'm sure I'll figure it out. And I also have a PayPal and a Cash App that you can donate to. All donations will be put back into the channel. Whether it's for better quality videos such as a better mic or um, like a better editing software for editing. I do use the PlayStation to edit. But I have like a flash drive and sometimes for certain clips I'll put it over onto my PC, my laptop and... I'll edit it like that or it could be used for giveaways because I would love to give back to you guys and I love giving back so it's kind of hard to give back whenever you're not making money so it's in the future I would love to do a ton of giveaways but as of right now my bank account says otherwise so that would help out a lot to give back to you guys. 
but I'm not expecting anybody to donate it's just there just in case you would like to if you enjoy the channel and I'm not getting paid for this so it's kind of nice I would really appreciate the support but I'm not gonna sit here and beg you to do it because I don't expect anybody to donate to me honestly so it's just there in case you want to but by all means if you don't want to you do not have to and I will not be mad about it um, see I don't really mention it in most videos just because I don't really care if you guys do or don't it would be nice but you know I'm not gonna beg you guys to do it but if you want to I will beg you guys to join the discord help me grow that up and I want to say thank you at the time of this recording let's go on here to YouTube and check this out so if we back here um, so I have a new subscriber thanks to him for subscribing let's turn around to actually let's just go ahead and let a worker work on this real quick while I oh well, I tell you something here. So, if we go to my channel, just got a new subscriber 12 minutes ago. So, thanks to that guy who subscribed. So, I'm currently at 12 subscribers, which is awesome. And my episode 1 of this gameplay series is at 103 views at the time of this recording. I'm recording this video Wednesday, October 20th so I appreciate you guys so much my first video over a hundred views and I just posted this video as of the recording time a week ago so we got a hundred and three views in a little over a week around the week mark and I've only been doing this for five weeks today is my five week anniversary of YouTube I guess you could say it like that so I appreciate you guys so much that means a lot to me and who would have thought I'd already have 12 subscribers in five weeks and my channel has over a thousand views so that's um, that's pretty crazy to me so I want to say thank you to you guys you guys really mean a lot to me and let's just continue to grow and become one of the biggest channels on YouTube that's the whole goal to make great content for you guys and be the best at it and whenever I am the best I'll be sure to do a ton of giveaways a ton of giveaways I cannot wait till I can do a giveaway it would mean so much to give back to you guys for supporting me from the very bottom all the way up to the top for you guys that have been here from the jump which is all you guys watching this video right now it will mean so much to give back to you guys so I hope one of you guys one day that are watching this video right now today whenever it comes out that win a giveaway at some point it would mean a lot to me if one of my day one supporters got a giveaway or won a giveaway so anyways I'll stop rambling on now and I am going to go ahead and finish up this last field here and probably call it a night myself so Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like button because it really helps out the channel a ton by getting it recommended more and other stuff like that. I'm not uh, sure exactly what it does, but I know it does help out a lot. So make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you haven't, turn on the post notifications. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so you never miss anything I post in the future. And if you want to know when something's coming out in the future, Make sure you go ahead and join the Discord. There's a link below or you can even check on my Instagram page. The link is below. And if you have any questions, you can message me personally on Facebook, Instagram, or Discord. So all that is linked below. Thanks for coming and watching.